I'm going to digitize a uh, a Christmas ornament for an, to to be sewn on an embroidery machine. I'm going to create the file that sews the ornament. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I've got a picture of an ornament that I wanted to do, so I'm going to import that picture. I'm going to use this one. This is a this was originally a quilt pattern that I saw, and I thought it would be good just for a little exercise here. Um, it's a simple design; doesn't have a lot of too many layers in it. So let's let's work on this. I would like to make this an applique. And I might do that in the in the end, uh, but for now we are going to start out with a in, with a plan to make it fill stitch. This is your fill tool. Fill is just constant rows of stitching that fill in the entire area uh, that you define with with some lines. So we'll go do that. Um, this is the fill tool. This is your density setting over here. Density refers to how close together these lines are. Let's do an example. We'll leave the density there for now. We'll leave that fill. And we'll go and create a shape for the sewing machine to, to um, fill. I'm just clicking along the lines. These little square places where I click are called nodes. And you can move them. And as you can see, the little round one, little round ones are for curves. You can drag it where you want it. Now, at the end, I'm going to get up close, and I'm going to right click on that node, and I'm going to tell it close edges, and it put it right back to where I started. <clears throat> now, I'm going to generate the stitches. That's what that looks like. Now we can change that. Let's, we're talking about density. Let's go up here to density. And let's put it on 27.3. See how far apart those are? You can see in between. If we wanted to make it even wider, we could. that. There are uses for that, but that's not what we want today. Today we want to go back to four. All right, we are in 3D mode. Um, let's go back to normal mode. We can see our design in there. Now, there's not one bit of need for us to leave all that thread in there because we're going to put some more thread on top of it. We'll put a third layer on top if if we um, leave it there. So let's take out let's take out some of this so we don't we don't need those stitches. So we are going to cut a hole. See this tool right here? This is a hole tool. Let's cut a hole in it. I'm going to get just inside of this thing, this scalloped design. Close those edges. And I get right up here. And bend these up. What I'm doing is taking out, I'm, I'm defining the area where I want to remove some stitches from that big blue circle I created. So, I get it all done, I click, click, generate stitches. Now look, <clears throat> those stitches are gone. I want you to look at this. Click on this, this, this circle that we made and look down here. Um, this is the original circle. This is the hole. If we want to get rid of that hole, we just click on it and click delete. But I want it back. So there. Now, we'll make another fill um, 
in the shape of this scallop. So we'll go back to our fill tool again and do right on that scallop line. The edges of this scallop are going to cover up the edges of the hole that we did. Theoretically. Close the edges and go back and fix them. When embroidery machines poke all that thread into the fabric, it distorts fabric. When I said theoretically a while ago, if the uh, stabilization is not right, and stabilizing happens in the sewing room, not at the computer, um, if the stabilization is not correct, then the hole, the um, thing that we're making now might not fit into the hole just right. I always put it a little bit beyond always leave a little bit of overlap here so that there's less chance of having a gap in my embroidery okay this is density 4.0 that's that's okay we could um change the fill if we wanted to we could make what would we want to make let's make some bricks Generate the stitches. We'll look at it in 3D. Let's make it white. Alright. I don't know if I'm crazy about that feel or not, but I've got plenty of time to change it. Now, can't see our drawing anymore. Let's go back to normal. we got to figure out how to make these. Again, these... This is going, these are going to be filled stitches. I'm going to click where the lines are. I need to put two there because that's a crazy curve. Close the edges. A little out-in curve and generate the stitches. Oops, 